Okay, so it's been a while since I've made a video on YouTube, but I figured I'd do one today over this garage cabinet that I bought. It's this thing right here. It's got a Maxim HD storage cabinet. This is the standard size they do. Uh, dimensions are right there. Um, unfortunately, before I decided to do the video, I'd already opened it. But it all came flat packed, just like IKEA. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's very well packaged, all the foam protected it. I haven't found any damage on any parts. Um, quickly run through the instruction book and then I'll show you the parts. All right, so this is the model that I've got. Uh, there's all the pieces. So you get your two side pieces, one, two, three shelves, two top and bottom pieces, the back pieces, the front doors, and all the fittings you need. Um, parts list, self-explanatory. All the screws. Looks like you get a screwdriver and the keys as well. Pretty easy. It looks like I haven't put it together yet, but it looks pretty easy to put together. Just stand the ends up, top on, bottom on, all with the same Phillips head screws. Uh, back pieces on, back pieces all come separate. The bottom legs on, front doors, and that's about it. Looks pretty self explanatory to me. Alright, so so far I'm, impre I'm impressed with the. Uh, Paper wrapping on everything, nothing looks like it's damaged in transit. Um, comes with all the fittings you need, a screwdriver, the spanner, uh, the end pieces, all the bags are numbered so it corresponds with the instructions. The legs look really flimsy on the photos on the internet where they're actually really solid and very stiff rubber so on the internet look flimsy, not in real life. Uh, all the panels look like they're very well put together so the sides the top and bottom and the shelving is probably, I don't know, two to three millimeters thick, I imagine. It's really strong and it's all ribbed. These are the side, the back pieces, and they're probably thinner, they're only a mil. Um, rather than the bags being numbered, every panel actually has written on it, which is stickers telling you what part is what. There you go. So it's pretty self explanatory to put together. The doors are very impressive. Um, this is the reason I bought this one, rather than the cheaper ones, which are at local hard stores, is because they've, they've got the doors have full-length piano hinges, and they look they're very thick, very well ribbed, and full-length hinges. I like it. All right, I'll put it together, and I'll take some videos as we go. Okay, so I've just taken the plastic off the two sides, and already you can see the obvious damage on it on both of them. So there's a big dent in the back of it there. And there is a big dent in the exact same position on the other side. That is because the box had those straps around it. And my guess is those straps were too tight, which puts those dents in both of them. Uh, look, realistically, I'm not that concerned because it's a garage thing. It's going to get banged up anyway. Um, as long as it all fits together, I'll be happy. It's probably the fault of the shipping company too, I imagine. So I bought this nine days ago paid for it straight away it shipped the next day with a shipping period of uh two to three days estimate it said ended up taking nine days that's because the shipping company they used was pretty crappy i was watching it on the tracking it was bouncing from melbourne to bayswater for some reason twice and then when i emailed them funnily enough it turned it turned up the next day i think they just forgotten about it so no doubt that when they're moving these boxes they're picking them up using those straps which is denting the panels. Anyway, um, while well, I've got it like this, you'll see that all the fittings are really well done too. They're, they're um, properly threaded inserts rather than just threading the steel. I'm impressed so far. Little damage doesn't matter. It's going in the garage. All right. All right, so we're up to step one of the instructions complete. Um, side panels together, front panel is on, uh, show you a bit of the build quality, it's really easy to put together thanks to those labels because you just chose which one's the front, which one's the top, on every one, front, top, front and top, so it's really easy to line up, um, you can see the quality of the construction, I'm pretty impressed with it, it's thin on the sides, but um, it's all rolled on the edges and it's got plenty of these ribs to support it. Um, so I don't think there'll be much of issues at all with its structural integrity. It's all put together with these little 
Phillips head buttons and every one, like I showed you before, is the threaded inserts which are riveted in. Um, yeah, those dents that I showed you on the side panels are on the back anyway, so hopefully that won't be that much of an issue. Alright, so I'm up to putting the bottom panel on. I just wanted to show you the pretty heavy duty construction of the bottom panel. Uh, same as the top one, except it has double rolled edges. And it's also got these sort of pretty heavy duty parts welded into each corner, which your uh, legs will screw into. And it's got a rib on the bottom too, so it's probably the heavy heaviest panel of the whole thing so far. Also, when you're bolting the bottom one in, um, you have to be careful to use the right screws because the one that you get the massive pack of, the button heads, won't fit in the hole to get through to the bottom. So you have to make sure that you use the number 20 screws, the longer D1. Alright, so step 2 is complete. Sorry, step 3 we're up to now. The bottom's on and I've flipped it over on its side. You can see the, how the feet screw into it. You can also identify, yet again, more dents in both the top and bottom panels. Luckily it's on the back again, but you can see there's a dent there, there's a dent there, dent there, and there's a matching corresponding dent on the top panel. All of these dents were in the position in the box where one of those straps was over. So like I said, the delivery people have been carrying it using those straps and denting the side of them. Shouldn't be an issue. Just going to use a rubber mallet and knock them in so they're flat so the back panels can go on. You can see where the back panels screw on all up the end. And I think there's four individual panels, so I'll put them on next. Okay, so here she's lying down with all the back panels lined up. Um, there's four individual panels, each one screws and locks into each other. All of them are labelled, so you can see the once it focuses. Bottom panel, two middle panels, and a top panel. Again, with a little arrow showing you which way is up. Uh, all the screw holes line up perfectly with all the uh, tapped out inserts. And again, this top panel, dent in the top, again, where one of those damn straps was. So that's both side panels, both top panels, and that panels damaged during transit because of those straps on the box. Panel screwed on. Um, definitely get yourself a power drill because that would have been a pain in the ass. I think there's about, I don't know, lots of Phillips head screws to do up. Um, just making sure that you leave the top corners free and you don't do those ones up because there's top metal corner protector bumper things that go on there at the end of it all right let's tip it up and i think the doors are next okay so the next step was actually the shelves not the doors um you get three shelves all fully adjustable the way they go in are just with these little plugs of which you get a whole bunch um you basically you get this channel in the back here and they just sort of clip in that way. You just put it in. And they sit in like that. And then when you remove them, you just pull them out. And then those little taps hook into those gaps at the bottom of the shelf. Okay, so I got the doors out of the plastic. I'm about to bolt them on. Happy to say that I can't really notice any major dents in them. There is a little bit of something going on just here. Which I think is a dent or... It's when this hinge was riveted on, they went a little bit too high. Because I can't actually feel anything there that's not just a normal bump, but for some reason it catches the eye and looks like a dent. Um, hinges are quality, they come in, there's actually two little hinges there, they feel like they're quality anyway and they're full length. Um, magnetic retainers just get screwed in with the same Phillips head screws. You just have to make sure you put the the right door on the right end. So the door with the lock in it is the door that has this full length locking mechanism. Just to make sure it goes on the right hand side so it lines up with that hole so the lock got somewhere to slide into it. Okay, so there's the finished cabinet. Um, doors are on, no problems. Uh, these little corner protectors go on the top here. That's why you leave the top screws undone, they just bolt on. Um, they actually sell another unit so you remove these and there's another one that comes up there and then you can bolt a second unit with another set of doors on top of it. Uh, I might actually buy that, depending on if it fits under that garage door because it's going in that corner over there. Um, the doors themselves are well put together. Um, 
the left door has magnet catches, so you close it and the magnet's on there and stays closed. And then the right door actually has magnets up inside behind here, just behind that foam bit. So that door magnets onto the other door. Uh, look, the only thing I would like to have on this was a normal handle that will actually engage the lock without having to use the key. Because uh, the only way to close it with the lock is with the key. Um, so yeah, I would have liked that, but I'll just deal with I'll just have to leave the key in there, I suppose. The reason I would prefer that is because if I lose the key, I can't get into it, but if I leave it unlocked, granted it's got magnet closure, but I don't want to risk it swinging open and me not noticing and reversing the car into it and either scratching the car or destroying the door. I'm more worried about scratching the car than destroying the door. Um, there's a dent just there. That's that one from the strap. Uh... Not much I can do about it. I banged it with a rubber mallet and got it out as much as I can. But if you're a perfectionist, that would probably piss you off. Uh, look, I don't really mind because it lives in the garage anyway. It's going to get scuffed up. That's what it's for. But if I was installing it in a laundry or inside the house or something, I'd probably be more annoyed. I suppose that's just the risk you take when you buy something of this size online. You put a lot of trust in their flat packing. Um, so that product... It's fantastic. The packing it comes in, not so much, because you end up with dents. Uh, I didn't get paid at all by these people either. I just bought this on my own and um, paid full price. I just thought I'd do this because I couldn't find any information other than the promotional videos that they have the company. So it's a Maxim. I bought it at Just Pro Tools. Look, I'm impressed with it. It was 300 and... I can't remember how much of it is. Give me one second, I'll edit this bit out. Um, it costs 360 Australian dollars, which is identical to the Romac one that Bunnings was selling. And I can tell just by looking at this and looking at the display that Romac has in Bunnings that this is better. Uh, the Romac one was, uh, look, it was all right, but it wasn't put together as well as this. You can tell just by looking at the display model on the floor in Bunnings, like, felt flimsy. Um, it comes with a catalog. It's that cabinet, you can see that 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 um, top cabinet that I was talking about that can bolt onto the top of that to make it double size. I might buy that, that might be the next video you see. Um, I'm happy with this Maxim stuff. I'm going to buy that workbench. I'm not gonna buy that whole kit, but especially not for $2,125, I'm not. But, Look, I can see that probably being value for money considering what you'd pay for something similar of lesser build quality at, I had to say at Bunnings. Um, ultimate storage that they sell at Bunnings is $600 for a cabinet this size. Um, yeah. I'm going to buy probably that workbench and maybe those overhead cabinets. We'll see how I go. That might be the next video you see on the channel. Alright, so that's it in its final position. I just want to throw in one more thing. Um, leveling legs are good. You just use the wrench to wind it out because that bit of concrete there is not level. But it sits perfectly now and it's nice and flat. And the powder coat finish marks really easily. Um, you see a couple of scratches here already. That's just from having that panel lying on the ground when I was bolting it together. I didn't drag it. I didn't do much to it. Just dented. There's that weird thing going on just here it doesn't feel like a dent but it looks like there's something going on anyway more scratches more scratches like I said if you're worried about it being perfect the powder coats a bit soft but it's a garage thing so it's a tool I intend to smash it